What's up everybody? Go Burns here. Today we're going to talk about the Valentine's DLC wish list. Now, we may be getting a Valentine's DLC tomorrow. I don't know what it's going to be called. And maybe I will later on today if Rockstar actually puts out a newswire on it. Come back here to the channel and I'll most likely have a video for you. But they may just drop it on us early in the morning and say, Ah, oh, here is Valentine's Massacre 2.0 or uh, Valentine's Love Fest DLC or whatever the hell they're going to call it. But hopefully we will, in fact, have a Valentine's DLC tomorrow. Well, mainly because uh, Grand Theft Auto Online has been kind of dead since January. And unlike the Halloween DLC that I was craving so badly in October, and so many others were as well, we have a track record to go on this time. Rockstar did make a Valentine's Massacre DLC last year. So I strongly believe that we're going to have a Valentine's DLC tomorrow. Now, is that 100%? No, I'm going to say like 99.9%. .9%. I'm going to leave like a 0.1% chance of it not happening, in my opinion. So, I think we're going to have a Valentine's DLC. And uh, the reason why I think, before we get to my wish list, is because, obviously, with uh, all DLCs that come out, which are quote-unquote free, by the way, there are plenty of items, like uh, clothing, vehicles, weapons, etc., which brings more people back to the game like I mentioned a moment ago Grand Theft Auto Online has been kind of dead for just over a month since a Festa Surprise went away and it also means more shark cards more money going into Rockstar and Take-Two's pockets via each DLC means more gamers are likely to buy shark cards so let's get into it shall we my valentine's dlc wish list well obviously the first wish is for us to actually get a dlc tomorrow <laughs> it would kind of suck if we all got up early in the morning thursday like kids on christmas and there were no christmas presents under the tree that would really blow so hopefully rockstar will actually drop a valentine's dlc manana Next wish is, of course, to include everything from last year's DLC. Similar to what they did with a Festive Surprise in the uh, Holiday DLC. They just grabbed all the old stuff from a year ago and they mixed it in with some of the new stuff. So everything from last year, like the suits, the fedoras, the masks, the Gusenberg, uh, Tommy gun, and of course the Roosevelt. Obviously, as an opportunity for gamers to have a chance to purchase the items they missed out on last year. Next on the list is, of course, new clothing items. So, yes, I want new suits. I want some new fedoras, new Valentine's-themed shirts, and, of course, new masks to go with everything we got last year. Next, a new vehicle. That's right. I would like a brand-new 1920s Prohibition-era vehicle, similar to the Roosevelt, but not exactly like the Roosevelt, if you catch my drift. And, of course, the uh, next wish is a new weapon, or perhaps even weapons, if Rockstar wishes to be so bold, because there was a lot of really cool weapons back in the 20s and 30s. Uh, for example, a revolver would be sweet, because a lot of gamers have been wanting a revolver in Grand Theft Auto Online for a while now. A Browning automatic rifle would be really sweet, and of course a double barrel shotgun would be nice as well. And Jobless Garrett also mentioned another weapon that would be kind of cool for a Valentine's-themed DLC, a crossbow. <laughs> hey, I would like to have a crossbow in the game. I, I figure we can't get an actual bow and arrow, but to run around with a crossbow with bolts and pretend you're Cupid going around massacring NPCs and other players, <laughs> just going on this psycho twist that you're actually trying to uh, get people to fall in love when you're actually murdering them. Anyway, it's just getting a little off topic. Yes, a crossbow, a revolver, or a Browning automatic rifle, and a double-barrel shotgun. All excellent options for a new weapon or weapons for a Valentine's DLC. Next, we need some serious fixes, updates, and patches with uh, a new DLC ASAP. For example, we're still having issues with the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 servers, and there's also issues with the last-gen console servers as well that need to be remedied as soon as possible. Next, of course, I would like to see some new races, death matches, LTSs, captures, etc., added as part of the Valentine's DLC. And, of course, an event weekend where we get to do, uh, like, double RP, double money, by playing all the new Valentine's DLC uh, jobs like races, DMs, LTS captures, as I mentioned a moment ago. And of course, uh, special crate items, maybe some uh, unique t-shirts, uh, some unique uh, Valentine's hats would be kind of cool. And of course, I would like to see a Valentine's treat just for logging in on Valentine's Day, similar to what we got 
with the uh, red stocking mask on Christmas. And of course, during uh, the uh, hipster update, we also got a t-shirt for every day we logged in during the hipster event weekend. That would be really cool if we got a Valentine's treat. And since this coming Friday is actually Friday the 13th, <laughs> maybe if we logged in on Friday the 13th, uh, first day of the event weekend, maybe we could get like a Valentine's themed hockey mask. That would be really cool and creepy at the same time. Paying homage to Jason of the uh, Friday the 13th series. And finally, of course, the big thing I want is the DLC to be available and accept Accessible for all four platforms. So everybody that's playing Grand Theft Auto Online, whether it's on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, or Xbox 360, has the opportunity to play with the brand new Valentine's DLC that will hopefully be coming out tomorrow. And there you have it, my Valentine's DLC wish list. I'll be up bright and early. Hopefully it will not be in vain. Hopefully Rockstar will deliver the goods, or else there might be a Valentine's rant coming your way on Friday. <laughs> And finally, let me know below in the comments section if you could have three items added to a Valentine's DLC, hopefully tomorrow, let me know what they would be. Something I mentioned or something else entirely, let me know below in the comments section. You only get three wishes. No more, no less. <laughs>